Why are Punjab and Himachal Pradesh fighting? It's over the Shannon Hydropower project. On March 1st, the centre ordered that the status quo be maintained on this project. Meanwhile, Punjab has moved the Supreme Court over this issue. So what is this Shannon Hydropower project over which Punjab and Himachal Pradesh have made competing claims? We explain all of that in this video. What is the issue over the Shannon Hydropower project? The British era 110 megawatt hydro project is situated at Joginder Nagar in Mandi district. It was leased to Punjab in 1925. Now the lease agreement was signed between the then ruler of Mandi, Raja Joginder Bahadur and Colonel B.C. Batty, a British representative and chief engineer of Punjab. The 99 year old lease came to an end on March 2nd this year. In the past few years, Himachal has contended that the project should stay with it once the lease ends. So Himachal Chief Minister Sukhvinder Sukhu had stated that they would not allow Punjab to stake claim on the project after the lease period. He had written to his Punjab counterpart Bhagwan Man last year and also taken up the issue with the Union Ministry of Power. The project used to feed the undivided Punjab and Delhi before independence. After partition, supply to Lahore was discontinued and its transmission line was stopped at Varka village in Amritsar. During the reorganization of states in 1966, the Hydel project was given to Punjab as Himachal Pradesh was then a union territory. It was allocated to the state by a central notification issued on May 1, 1967 by the Union Ministry of Irrigation and Power. This stated that Punjab's legal control over the project was under the provisions of the Punjab Reorganization Act 1966, read along with the 1967 notification. The Himachal government has alleged that the project is in poor condition as Punjab is not repairing or maintaining it. In its suit in the Supreme Court, Punjab has contended that it is the owner and is in lawful possession of the Shannon Powerhouse project with all assets currently under formative control of the state government through the Punjab State Power Corporation Limited. The government has sought a permanent prohibitory injunction restraining the Himachal Pradesh government from disturbing the lawful peaceful possession and smooth functioning of the project. The state has also made the centre a party. A day before the 99-year-old lease was to come to an end, the centre ordered status quo on the project as an interim measure to keep the project working. The order issued by the Ministry of Power, Government of India, stated, quote unquote, In the exercise of the powers under Section 67 and 96 of the Punjab Reorganisation Act 1966, read with Section 21 of the General Clause Act 1887, it is hereby directed that the State Government of Himachal Pradesh and State Government of Punjab shall maintain status quo with regard to the functioning of the 110 megawatt Shannon Power House after the expiry of the lease period on 2nd March 2024 till a final decision is taken by this ministry. But what do these orders really mean? The orders are an interim measure emphasizing public interest and urging parties to proceed within a legal framework. As the legal battle unfolds, the Shannon Hydropower project remains a focal point of tension between Punjab and Himachal Pradesh. Stay tuned as we follow the developments in this ongoing saga. This is Charulada signing off. Thank you so much for watching.